Welcome to the first of several explanations of possible SAT math questions. The questions here can be downloaded or viewed at ck12.org from the first of three SAT math practice sets. A race car driver has completed 12 and a half laps of a 50 lap race. What fractional part of the race remains? So one of the most important parts about solving these types of problems is making sure that we understand the question and what it's asking for. Notice in this case, we're trying to find the fractional part of the race that remains. Well, we can tell from our choices, our answer is going to be a fraction, but the key is we want the fractional part that remains once the race car driver has completed 12 and a half laps of a 50 lap race. So the driver has completed 12 and a half laps which might be helpful if we write as 12.5 instead. And because there's a total of 50 laps in the race, the laps remaining to drive would have to be the total 50 minus 12.5, which is equal to 37.5. So there are 37.5 remaining laps of the 50 lap race, which means the fractional part of the race remaining would have to be the remaining laps, 37.5, divided by the total laps of 50. So this represents the fraction of the race that remains, but looking at our answers, notice this is not a choice because this fraction is not in simplest form. First, it can't have a decimal, and second, it needs to be simplified. So we can do this on the calculator or by hand, because we're allowed to use a calculator on the SAT, let's first show how to do this on a graphing calculator. We're going to enter 37.5 divided by 50, which will give us a decimal, which we should recognize as three-fourths, but if we don't, we can press math, enter, enter, which gives us three-fourths. So three-fourths of the race remains. So our answer is C but I also want to show how we can do this by hand. The first thing we want to do is eliminate the decimal from the fraction. We can do this by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 10, which is equivalent to moving the decimal point to the right one time. So this would be equal to 375 over 500. And now we want to simplify by identifying the greatest common factor of 375 and 500 which is 125. So if we divide the numerator and denominator by 125, this would give us the simplified fraction of 3 fourths. Again, 3 fourths of the race remains after the race car driver has completed 12 and a half or 12.5 laps of a 50 lap race. I hope you found this explanation helpful.